Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, and we are God's Church of Love Online. This is our Saturday service that we have weekly. Now, we are getting ready to read from Psalms 126, and I pray it blesses you. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. The, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Mm, 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 I love that verse. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth in weeping, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Wow, 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 wow. You know what I look at that? Um, imagine that it's Christmas. And somebody loaded you up with a whole bunch of presents and you don't know if it's a whole truck full of goodies and they're getting ready to deliver it to your house and they see you along the way and you just went through hell and high water and you're crying and you're bent over with, with discouragement and you're frustrated and disillusioned and you're just having all, you're having a bad day. And somebody hollers out at you and says, hey, so-and-so, where you headed? And you got tears in your eyes and you barely answer, I'm going home. Well, come on, hop in, I'll give you a ride. You don't know that behind you is a truckload, yeah, a boatload of goodies. And you get in the truck and the person is, well, what's wrong? You look so down and and you're crying the blues, letting them know all that went wrong with that day, that week, that month, whatever is going wrong in your life. And you are really having a hard time, but you're determined to forgive. You're determined to, uh, to do things God's way. And you just feel like even though you're obeying God, you're still the one getting kicked in the teeth by life. And it really gets you down. And it feels unfair. But because you know that God is your best choice, you do it anyway. And God honors your obedience. So you have no idea while you're crying that while you're on your way home, all your goodies are following you there. You have no idea the blessing that's right behind your back. And then the man opens the door and you get out the truck. And you thank him for the ride. And he says, wait, wait, don't go in yet. You got to help me carry all this stuff in. And you're thinking, oh, what stuff? He says, what do you think this truck is here for? I've got a whole lot of goodies for you. And everything in the truck is yours. And you're like, what? And he opens the door. And all the things that you couldn't afford to buy, all the things that you've been wishing you can get your hands on, Wishing you had the tools for to do what you need to do. Wishing you had the wherewithal, the wherewithal, the tools, everything, the blessings are right there in that truck. Followed you home. In spite of the fact that you, in spite of the fact that you were, were having a bad day, you had no idea that God's blessings were still headed your way. So don't lose heart when life kicks you in the teeth when life comes hard don't lose heart please don't do that because no matter what even when people do you wrong after you've done them right it's like Rashad shared earlier how something he had given to somebody he needed to use it and they didn't even want to deal with that so sometimes people will jack you for blessing them. Sometimes people will curse you for being good to them, just like they cursed Jesus for being good. You see what I mean? 
He went to the cross through obedience. He did not deserve to go to the cross, did he? No, he did not. Did he revile? Did he curse people back? No, he did not. Did he retaliate? No. He forgave. And he went to the cross and died for us and the very people who were crucifying him. That is a different kind of love than human love. And when you love that way and you live your life out based on that kind of love, you're not looking for payback. You're not looking for somebody to compensate you for being good to them. No strings attached. Your love is with no strings, like the love of Jesus. When you love that way and you treat people that way and you give when they don't deserve it and you're kind when they deserve you to slap them in the face and you're sweet when they're nasty and you're peaceful when they've got an attitude and they want to be argumentative and confrontational. Hmm. You may cry you may bawl your eyes out for having your feelings hurt all the time. But God will not only heal your hurt, but all the blessings that he has accumulated for your life, for all the sacrifices of obedience, you will be able to bring all your blessings with you. You won't lose your blessings at all. It may feel like you're being cheated by life. But God has rewards we have not yet seen. So don't be weary in well-doing. For in due season, you will reap if you faint not. Don't be weary in well-doing. Because there comes a time in your life when God says, he starts going down his checklist. And he says, when you're in a crisis and your back is up against the wall, he encourages you with words like, I have not forgotten your labor of love. Fear not. I'm with you. I am for you. I know the plans I have for you. I will neither leave you nor forsake you. I am your rear guard. I am your shelter. I will cover you with my wings. Mm. <laughs> I will give you divine protection. I will lift up your head. I am the lifter up of your head. I'm the lover of your soul. I will surround you with favor. Mm. The set time to favor you has come. Yes, so you remember the prayer that's prayed in Psalms 103, I believe. Let me check and make sure. I don't want to make sure I quote it correctly. I don't want to mislead anybody. Let me see. Where is it here? I want to read it. Yeah, that's it. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Say this through your tears. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. That even includes your hurt feelings and your insecurities. And who, 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 who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Let me read, read that again. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle, the Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Listen, he is, whew, he is there for us. He is there. He heals the broken in heart. You're not in this alone. 
He will heal you. He will gird you up on your weak side. He will strengthen you on the inner man. He will equip you for the battle. He will teach your hands to war so that a, a, a rod of steel is broken by your bare hands, spiritually speaking. He'll give you authority over the demonic onslaught and you will trample on the lion, the adder, the snakes, the those that creep and go bump in the night, who, who mess with your life, who try to torment you. He'll give you authority over that. He's already given it through the name of Jesus, but he gives us more and more. He'll give you more power. For every obstacle, he gives you the, the right amount of power to subdue, to rise above the storm, to climb and maintain. Oh man, God will bless you abundantly above all that you could ask or think according to the power that works in you. Work that power that God gave you. Work that power. Just like you work the power in your kitchen, when you want to turn the light on, you have to reach your hand to the switch and flip it. Then the light comes on. You didn't make the light come on. The power came from the light company. Let your light so shine, but let your power come from God. And your light will shine brightly, no matter how dark it is in your life, because he sheds light in our darkness. He will lift you up. He will support you. He will gird you. You're not alone. The best one on your side is God. It's you and God against the world. That's all you need. You've got God, because with God comes all the rest of it. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things will be added unto you. But you must seek God and his righteousness, not just God, not just his righteousness. Seek God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added. Oh, <laughs> there's so many benefits to walking with the Lord. He's a pain killer. He's a buffer. He's a shield. He's our shelter from the storm. He's our coolant in the heat. He's our heater in the cold. God is for you. He is for you. He is on your side. You're not in this alone. God bless you. I hope you feel encouraged. I know this wasn't a long word, but I just, that's what I got. And I hope it's enough for you to move forward with. God bless you and know that he will never leave you nor forsake you and that God is for you. And he loves you with an everlasting love. Hold your head up high. Look to the hills from whence cometh your help. Your help cometh from the Lord. Psalms 121. And I'm closing with that scripture. Amen. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Nobody's going to trip you up. The devil's not going to knock you out. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. He doesn't sleep on the job, y'all. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day. Mm. Mm, mm. nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and evermore. God bless you. Be encouraged. God is working on your behalf and he is on your side. Amen. <laughs>